Hi guys, welcome back to the latest episode on the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to be looking at the best diagnostic scan tool and scanners for Mercedes, Smart and Sprinter vehicles in 2021 and 2022. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you which of these tools I would personally choose given my 15 years experience in the field. Now I'm going to put links to all of these kits in the video description and in the pinned comments section below this video because these links will take you to genuine and official products. Fake products and clones do exist, so please be very careful when choosing. Now I'm gonna be starting with the cheapest product, working my way along to the most expensive, and what you'll generally find is the most expensive product has the most functionalities and features, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you won't get exactly what you need out of the cheapest tool possible. So we'll, we'll run through everything uh, and all of the features that all of these tools do actually have. So we're starting with the MB version 1.0 kit or the uh, Mercedes-Benz version 1.0 kit. Now this tool will allow you to cover all of the main systems in your vehicle. So if you've got a, a warning light or a, a fault with the engine, the airbags, the ABS, the transmission, it'll certainly allow you to diagnose and reset those warning lights in those particular systems. It will also cover other systems as well, which are clusters like, it, it, it's classed as an all system scan tool. So if your car has the air suspension system, if your car has uh, power steering, if your car has parking sensors and you have faults in those particular systems, then this tool will allow you to diagnose and reset those faults as well. Now, when it comes to special functions or service functions, this tool only has one of those service functions and it is for the, for the oil reset or the service reset. So in the Mercedes cars, you, know, you might get like an A service or a B service. It'll allow you to reset all of those service types um, and restore the dashboard warning messages back to normal. Uh, so that's the MB version 1.0. We then move on to the MB version 2.0, which looks a little bit different. Uh, this tool, the MB version 2.0 has additional functionality over the MB version 1. So what I'm saying is this will do everything that this will do, but this has additional functionality and additional service functions. Uh, so the additional service functions, for example, uh, are the electronic parking brake, the DPF, diesel particulate filter, reset and regeneration, injector coding, ABS brake bleeding, electronic throttle reset and steering angle sensor. So if you need to do resets or calibrations on any of those, then the MB version 2.0 is the kit for you. It will also do, as I say, everything that this kit will do as well. This is a little bit more expensive, but I feel for the amount of money you pay extra versus the functionality extra that you get, I'd say it's definitely worth it. And this is purely if you, if you only really wanna focus on your Mercedes-Benz cars. Uh, we then move on to the iCarsoft EU Pro Kit. Now, this kit, you'll notice a common theme here that as we go up the line, the kit I'm talking about will cover everything that the previous kit uh, kits have covered. So the EU Pro Kit will do everything that both of these kits will do. So it'll do all of your service functions, all of your system coverage, but this kit will actually cover additional manufacturers as well. So any other European manufacturer. So let's say you've got a Mercedes Benz, but in your family or your friend circle, you also want to look after a BMW, an Audi, uh, a VW, a Volvo, a Vauxhall, something like that. Then the EU Pro Kit is suitable for those vehicles as well. You don't lose any functionality when coming across from these tools to this tool. So as I say, this tool will do absolutely everything that these tools will do. That's the iCarsoft EU Pro. Again, it's a step up in price, but if it's worth it for you for getting the extra manufacturer coverage, then you, know, you, can, you can decide whether that's good for you or not. We then move up to the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. Now again, the CR Pro Kit will do absolutely everything that all three of these tools will do. This tool does all manufacturers. So this will cover manufacturers from the Asian market, the European market, and the American market. So we've covered the Europeans. So if you, we can add on the likes of Nissan, Mitsubishi, Mazda, Subaru, um, Honda, things like that. This kit will cover those. And also from the American market, you've got the likes of Chrysler, uh, Chevrolet, Dodge, Jeep. Um, what else? GMC, for example an American Ford as well. So this is a good, uh, this is a really good option if you are looking to maybe future-proof your tool 
and you don't really want to have to go and buy another tool you don't really know what car you'll be getting next year or the year after uh, or you just want a car that's going to kit that's going to cover absolutely every car um, in your kind of circle if you like um, so that's the cr pro kit then at the end we come to the autel maxicom mk808 kit this is the most expensive pretty much because it is the best out of all of these tools, but it does come at a price. Probably out of the, the, the regular price range from that most DIY enthusiasts could probably afford. And maybe I think this is kind of really designed for high-end DIYers, or maybe if you're working in a small garage workshop environment and you don't really know what car you're gonna be looking at on a day-to-day -day basis, then there's no problem with getting this kit at all. This will do everything that all of these kits will do, but this has 25 service or special functions. So uh, it does all of these special functions, but this also includes things like battery registration, gear learning, uh, uh, suspension calibration and reset. So this is really the one to go for if you you know, if you've got a lot of money to spare or you want to go straight into the deep end or you're a small workshop garage or mobile mechanic, something like that. But there's nothing to stop you, as I say, from, you know, wanting to, if you want to learn, if you want to go in at the deep end and you've got no experience, you can still go for this kit. Absolutely no problem there. But on the, on the flip side of that, if you only got a check engine light, an ABS light, an airbag light or something, or you want to just simply do a service reset, then there's no problem with going for this kit here. This will perfectly uh, meet your needs and requirements. Okay. Um, what else have we got? So basically, yeah, what I was going to say is that um, the tool that I would personally recommend out of all of these tools, if I had a Mercedes Benz, um, honestly, it would be the CR Pro Kit because this gives you, for the, for the amount of money you pay for this tool and the system coverage, the vehicle coverage, not just for Mercedes cars, but all other manufacturers as well, this will give you so much value for money, I believe. Um, and it, it has been a really, really popular tool for the past two years, which it's been uh, out on the market for. Um, I know Diagnostic will sell a lot of these tools, so it's, it, this is definitely what I would recommend. Um, but you know, it's all down to your specific needs, your requirements, and your budget, of course, as well. Now remember I'm going to put links to all of these kits in the description below this video. Um, remember that following those links you will get genuine and official products. Fakes and clones do exist so be very careful. And if you do have any questions about what any of these kits will cover, if it will cover your specific manufacturer, then I'll put an email address in the description below this video. That will get you in contact with Diagnostic World who will give you an answer as to whether these tools are suitable or not. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next episode of the Scan Tool Network.